Good morning, friends. Welcome to Friday. Let's stand for our pledge. Attention. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's say our cubby chant. Here we go. This is the way. Hey, we start the day. Hey, we have the knowledge. Hey, to go to college. Hey, but don't stop there. Hey, go anywhere. Hey, this is the way. Hey, we start the day. Hey. Thank you, friends. Everybody have a seat. Crisscross applesauce on the carpet. I have a few words of wisdom for you this morning. When you were a newborn baby and your parents brought you home from the hospital, did you go to a small house or a great big house? Did you go to an apartment? Were you born in the United States or were you born in Mexico or Puerto Rico or Canada? In Turkey they say where you, where you were born is less important than where you live. In other words, where you were born doesn't matter nearly as much as what kind of choices you make and what kind of person you are. That's true for you and that's true for your classmates. Today, remember this, where you were born or where you live is much less important than how you treat others and yourself. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Evans reminding you of our motto. Say it with me. I am safe. I am a peacemaker. I am a learner. All right. Well, we start open checkout next week in the Media Center, and I can tell you, Ms. Brown and Ms. Tinch cannot wait to see you coming and going to get your books. Um, our first and second graders, if you have co uh, character ed today, you'll get yours today. But we are excited about next week. I saw lots of good routines going on this morning. Our kindergartners went to breakfast for the first time by themselves, and all of our pre-K friends are here. So we are like ready to go now and uh, got everything in place now. I think this is day nine. So uh, welcome to everybody and let's have that great year that I know is ahead of us. All right, well, we are having a special fundraiser going on with Charleston Rap. And I have been seeing some friends bring in, let me see if I can find it. Oh yes, it's right here. I have been seeing some friends bring in their coupons. And they have either sold three items or eight items or 13 items. Now, I know this weekend you're going to get out there and see your family and friends around town and go ahead and sell some items. When you do on Monday morning, I want you to have filled out your coupon because you get to put it in this box and then I draw out some things. So let me see what's going to happen first this morning. What the top came off. I have to put that back on there before I give it back to Miss Chandra. All right, let's see. I'm going to switch it all around in here, get it all mixed up, get it all mixed up in here. I've got about 10 in here so far this morning. I put this box filled up on Monday morning. Okay, the Chomper is going to spend the day in Miss Dale's class with Zachary Griffin. So Chomper, he's headed on down there in a few minutes after Cubby TV. And uh, Zachary will get a pop-up. And let's see who else is going to get a pop-up today. I'm going to get two more friends out of here. All right, we're going to have Gabriella Gomez from Miss Powell's class after Cubby TV. Come down here and see me for a pop-up. And I got to put a little piece of something in the bottom of this box because the thing keeps getting it all tucked to the bottom. Okay, the next one is out of Miss Winslow's class and it's Nikayla MacArthur. So you get to come down and get a pop-up from me in just a few minutes. All right, well Chomper has told me that he has been having an awesome time in these classrooms and so I'm hoping that everybody will get a chance. So get your coupons in. Now, for our uh, cubby piles, Miss Brown will help me pull some this morning since we started Cubby TV just a minute or two late here. Um, I haven't pulled the staff cubby paws um, for a day or two, and we have a bunch, so listen up. We have Miss uh, Faircloth for doing a favor with Miss Lumsden. We have Miss Layton for sharing cardstock. Um, that is one of our friends there. We have 
Ms. Proctor for making copies for us, and that's coming from the um, second grade. Ms. Beth Copeland for being a team player. Ms. Teresa Ward for checking in on me. Ms. Price for organizing the nutrition schedule. Ms., uh, and that's where we have FNEP coming in, uh, nutrition classes for our students. Uh, Teresa Ward for lending a listening ear. Uh, Ms. Perry, Ms. Desi Perry for running off the math stuff for last week. Ms. Price for doing a great favor for me, as well as Ms. Powell. Mr. Bryan for killing big spiders for me <laughs> early in the morning. Mr. Herman Copen for, for preparing our school and keeping it clean each day. Ms. Layton for sharing reading, the reading standards chart. Ms. Sharon Nixon for being an awesome assistant. Uh, Ms. Carolyn Leary for being awesome in everything that you do, even though she is one on right now. And Ms. Powell for uh, completing her self-assessment and PDP on time and before the due date. Woohoo, Ms. Powell! Yay! All right. You have to be here to understand what all that means, but thank you, Ms. Powell. All right, I can't even tell whose handwriting that is. Okay, um, we have for our buses Evelyn Leon on 139, Jordan Davison on 129, Grayson Nixon on 123, Zoe Watkins on 136, Macy Kate on 129, Lane on 129, and Zamir Wills on 115. And let's see what's going on in our classroom. We have Ashley Parker in Ms. Layton's class who's been a good listener. And William Farmer in Ms. Nixon's class for working hard in writing. Charlotte Westrom in Ms. Powell's class for helping a classmate. George Mills, Ms. Walston's class um, for being quiet during cleanup. Russell Norfleet, Ms. Fairclough's class for a great job in Read to Self. Skylar Biggs, Ms. Brider's class, great job in the assembly. Uh, Siraj A. Goff in Ms. Nixon's class, cleaning up centers. Isaiah Richardson, Ms. Atkinson's class, good manners. Today, Hines, Ms. Ward's class, turning in all paperwork for the beginning of the school year. Niasia Raintree, Ms. Perry's class, following directions. Armani and Ms. Price's class for hallway manners. You know, that's a great variety of the good things that our friends are doing. And I know that you're going to do some good things so that you can get a cubby paw in the cup tubs. And I just might pull your name to come on down to the um, treasure chest and see all the cool things that we have for you. Now Ms. Parr is going to come up and we are going to sing our Gubby Awesome song. Good morning Ms. Parr. Good morning. Friends, would you stand up? Everyone would stand up and push your chair under so you've got a little bit of room.